On the road to recovery, a Philadelphia police officer goes home after being wounded in Thursday's airport shooting. Tonight, the search goes on for whoever shot him and killed a fellow officer. Good evening, I'm Aziza Schuler. It was an emotional scene in Center City. Officers standing at attention as the recovering officer left a hospital. Our Madeline Wright was there. His wounded arm still bandaged, Philadelphia police officer Raul Ortiz wiped away tears as he was discharged from Thomas Jefferson University Hospital. Dozens of police lined up to salute the officer and give him a round of applause. A group of police officers then escorted him on the drive home. A happy day to see him get out of the hospital knowing that he's on the road to recovery um, as far as his arm, but it's really his, uh, his mind and his heart are going to need some time to heal. Officer Ortiz survived a shooting that left his friend and colleague, Officer Richard Mendez, dead. The two were shot while confronting armed car thieves in a parking garage at Philadelphia International Airport Thursday night. Emotionally, I'm hanging in there. Police officer Eddie Lopez, president of Philadelphia's Spanish American Law Enforcement Association, says he knew Officer Mendez for 21 years. This is a loss not just for us. It's a loss for you, the civilians of Philadelphia, to lose an officer that came into work every day and did the job. Officer Lopez says he's been in constant communication with the fallen officer's family. He says an effort is underway to pay for the college tuition of Officer Mendez's daughter, who goes to Temple University. My members are not just members, they're family members to me. So whatever their daughter, the, the wife needs, we're there. Meantime, police are working round the clock to identify the suspect seen in this video, wanted in connection with the deadly shooting. Interim Commissioner Stanford says it's a tough time for the department. The tons of support and love that have poured in over the past few days, um, a number of elected officials, um, even a, a call from, from President Biden yesterday, um, you know, to just give that support, I think, is what our, our women, and we, women and men need to know. The community supporting police and police leaning on each other for comfort as the city mourns a fallen hero. In Center City, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia. Thank you, Madeline. And just moments ago, we learned that the reward for information in this case has increased. According to the Fraternal Order of Police here in Philadelphia, it stands at $225,000.